in this clash, like so many others where we're seeing a civilization finally rising up to overthrow a corrupt government, there is one common denominator, big banks. The big banks that are too big to jail, too big to fail. They're always there. Now we have a seventh banker who has died under mysterious circumstances in the last month. This time it's a JP Morgan Forex trader who leapt to his death from the top of the firm's Chatterhouse headquarters in Hong Kong. This brings the total to at least seven bankers who have died under mysterious circumstances, and it's more than 20 if you go back a bit further. And this includes another JP Morgan senior manager who jumped off the top of a skyscraper in London last month. Now, speculation is rife that the series of deaths are connected to some kind of looming financial crisis or a huge legal case targeting bankers for malfeasance, although no definite link has been established. Now, according to CIA manuals that were declassified as part of a Freedom of Information Act in uh, May of 1997, the preferred killing method of the CIA is through contrived accidents, specifically a fall of 75 feet or more onto a hard surface, death by gravity. But of course, you know, these banker deaths will remain a mystery. Now, one thing is for certain, though, and that is that uncertainty is pervading every area of the global economy. Now, experts are already warning that the American way of life will be destroyed. There's, you know, obscene levels of debt. We're giving these faulty employment statistics. The writing is on the wall, and it's really only a matter of time. But what's really upsetting and not news to our viewers, this entire looming economic crisis is premeditated. We are dealing with these self-indulgent monsters who have completely released themselves from reality. Here you can look at Kevin Roos of New York Mag. He infiltrated a, a Wall Street secret society inductee party, and he basically reported the same thing that Alex Jones found when he crashed the Bohemian Grove. Um, he said here that there's the most famous investors in the world, including executives from nearly every too-big-to-fail bank, private equity mega firm, were watching as inductees dressed in drag performed racist, raunchy skits, poking fun at the 99%, making light of the financial crisis, and bragging about their business conquests at Main Street's expense. So he says, how could any self-aware and socially conscious person make fun of a financial disaster that resulted in real harm to millions of people in the form of foreclosures, wrecked 401ks, and a devastating unemployment crisis? But that's just it. These are the same guys who created this crisis, and now they're reveling in it. The world's largest banks are fixing the prices of just about everything in the world, including the economies of entire countries. The game is rigged, folks. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. The brainwashing media machine has been turned up on high, and it's time for humanity to double down on the true people's media and strike back against the tyrants that are destroying our civilization with their lies and fraud. We are the resistance. You are the resistance. You are the info war. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv.